What is up, my Metaverse family? Welcome back to OnChain Gaming. My name is Jake, the OnChain Gamer, and today we're talking about whether or not Gala Games, whether or not Mirandus, which is their upcoming uh, blockchain-enabled massive multiplayer online role-playing game uh, set in a medieval time period, whether or not these are a scam. Because I've been making a ton of videos about Mirandus, a ton of videos about Gala Games. I've even made these in-depth videos reviewing Gala Games and the team behind it, yet every single time I make a video about another investment that I've made in Gala Games, I just get a ton of comments like these ones. Creators will launch the same items five times cheaper later. The trust in this game is lost. Creators, and by creators, by the way, he's talking about Gala Games. Gala Games just pumping new items to shop while game itself does not exist. Everyone stopped buying because it looks like a never-ending flood of NFTs, which has no value without a game. On one side, they're right that NFTs without a game have a lot less value or no value compared to an NFT with a game where they're actually a usable, tangible asset. That is for sure. But this idea of a never-ending flood flood of NFTs really doesn't line up with reality. We'll definitely get into that. Uh, another comment here, they scamming. Um, so yeah, I definitely disagree with that. So in this video, I want to talk about how you actually can even realize whether or not a project is a scam project or not a scam project. How do you tell if a project is likely or unlikely to be a successful project, unlikely or, or likely to to truly resonate and, and succeed and, and really be like what the creators are claiming it's gonna be. I think that there's three core kind of indicators that can tell us whether or not a project is a scam or, or not. So in this video, I want to get into these three core indicators, which are the team behind Gala Games and Mirandus or behind a project. Second, uh, whether or not the project has a reasonable business model, whether or not you can see it actually working out long term, um, because if it's too good to be true, then it's probably not true. And if the business model doesn't work, then the project probably won't work. So that's a really big indicator there. And then the third and final indicator we're gonna be looking at in this video is whether or not there's a community around the project that believes in the project. Because if a project has a really strong community and a really strong following, well that doesn't guarantee the success of the project, it does say a ton of good things about the project. When there's a community extremely excited about something, you definitely want to give that thing a second glance and be like, wait, maybe there's something there. If there's this many people that ecstatic about this, maybe there's something there. So that's what we're going to be diving into in this video. I treat the investments that I make into NFTs the same way that I treat the investments that I make into my stock market investing portfolio, which has done extremely, extremely well. So I want to help you think through how to analyze these new NFT gaming projects, because I'm sure that there's going to be a ton more in the future, especially after games like Axie Infinity have started blowing up and Gala Games, a lot of their games, I'm sure will start blowing up. And then you will have 100% some scam games that come out and they're going to be like buy into our NFTs early and they're, they're not actually going to have any plan to, to produce a game at all and, and people are going to get scammed as NFT gaming explodes but hopefully by watching this video you will not be one of those people. So let's roll the intro and get into it. Starting off with number one, the team. Who are the people behind the project? And I cannot stress enough that when you're deciding, when you're trying to decide whether or not to invest in a company or in new NFTs or in cryptocurrency, looking at the team behind the project is the first thing you have to do and it's extremely, extremely important because the founders of a project, the, the main engineers that are working on a project are going to make 
or break that project. It can be the best idea ever, but if you have lazy imbeciles, hopefully that's okay to say, behind the project, then it's not gonna work out. So one of the things that I like to look for when I'm trying to figure out what I want to invest in is I want to look for teams that have had a ton of success in the past. And that doesn't mean necessarily the team together has to have had success before, but that individuals that are on this new team, if it's a new team, have had success in their previous team. So when we take this and look at Gala Games, we find a very big two thumbs up because starting off with the, the head of the company, the CEO, Eric Schurmeyer, he has had a ton of success in the past with multi-billion dollar companies. Literally, Zanga, uh, the last company that he co-founded, is worth over $10 billion. You'll remember Zanga for having created Farmville, which is a was a Facebook gaming success, and had tens of millions, hundreds of millions of players total, tens of millions of players on a monthly basis. So you can see that the CEO here can see where things are going in the future. He's like, wow, the internet's big. Probably social media might be kind of big and founded MySpace, the first massive social media platform. Then he was like, wow, Facebook has really exploded. Uh, maybe gaming through platforms like Facebook could be really large. Started Zanga and bam, he was right once again. And now he's like, Wow, blockchain games, play to earn crypto, giving players real ownership, like moving away from this scam that, that is gaming today to true ownership, real marketplaces, real play to earn crypto opportunities uh, with decentralized marketplaces, like truly giving players of a game real ownership and real ownership rights. He's like, this is the next big thing and he's going to be right again, I mean, one home run, two home runs, maybe a third home run is more likely from someone who's already had two home runs than it is from someone who maybe failed two companies uh, beforehand. Then I would be very uh, less likely uh, to be down to support Gala Games here. But because Eric has had a lot of success before, has shown that he has the motivation to get things done, that he has the leadership capabilities to build strong teams, that has me uh, really, really believing in Gala from, from the very top. But now let's look at some of the other team members because there's some other really big, really cool team members that have been joining Gala Games recently. Um, we can look at Michael McCarthy, who is the lead developer of Mirandus. If you're like, okay, is Mirandus a scam or not? Well, who's developing Mirandus? That's probably a good question to ask. And Michael McCarthy just so happens to be someone who worked on three of the Fable games, one of which is probably the best role-playing game of the last century. Michael McCarthy has also worked on some other incredible AAA role-playing games. So he's the head developer of Mirandus and I'm like, all right, that's probably a good sign. Obviously, it doesn't automatically guarantee Mirandus is gonna be a success, but when you start to see, okay, the CEO uh, is someone that is probably worthy of putting some amount of faith in. Oh, the lead developer of this game, another person probably worth putting some amount of faith in. And then you can see their most recent hire, uh, the last person that they, that they picked up, he was the lead of project for Electronic Arts. He was in charge of mobile games for EA and he has just joined Gala Games. And I made a video about that recently and people were like, wow, this is a really bad sign. EA games are terrible. And I will agree, a lot of the nickel and diming that EA has been doing recently is really bad, but blockchain gaming, like this is a whole new paradigm shift. It's a different model on profitability. The way companies are going to exist, like the whole revenue model is, is flipped upside down. It's completely different. It comes from a tax on a free ecosystem rather than selling everything top down. And I think the fact that you don't like some of the way that EA operates doesn't take away from the fact this most recent uh, hire, John Oswald is the guy's name, who is now leading up Games for Gala Games, has already led mobile games for a multi-billion dollar company. John Oswald has made these very beautiful looking, seamless games to interact with. It's the triple A quality that I long that Mirandus has. 
And because Gala Games is picking up this talent on top of this core team that they have, it just, every single move they make confirms to me more and more that this is a team, this is a company that's serious business that that truly wants to make an impact on this industry and really thinks they can be one of if not the biggest players in blockchain gaming when we examine the team which is important anytime that you're trying to decide whether or not to invest in a new project um Gala Games gets two thumbs up, Mirandas gets two thumbs up, and that at least of the first three things, the first one, there's no warning here. Gala Games, as far as the, the team tells us, is, is not a scam at all. In fact, they're the furthest thing from a scam. They look like they might be a unicorn, which is why I have been investing so viciously, uh, putting <laughs> over $50,000 so far into Miranda's NFTs. But that's not all. Let's look at the second thing, and this is important as well, and that is whether or not what Gala Games is promising is, is too good to be true. Does Gala have a reasonable business model? Because they're telling us things like there's only gonna be a little over a thousand deeds total. They're telling us things like there's gonna be a limited number of each of these buildings. So is that too good to be true? Well, in order to know that, we have to figure out, well, well, can Gala Games, could they reasonably generate enough revenue off of a game that they can't sell new land NFTs for and they can't sell new building NFTs for? And, and in order to understand that, that might be like, yeah, at an initial glance, it, the, Gala has to be a scam. Either they're gonna just keep selling buildings, keep selling land, and they've lied about the limitedness of it, or they're gonna go out of business, because how are they gonna make money if they can't sell more land and can't sell more buildings and, and can't sell more exemplars, which are supposedly also limited? At, at a certain point, they're just gonna run out of money and the game's gonna die. But when you dive just a single layer deeper and you see how blockchain gaming is gonna revolutionize business models and how NFTs can be monetized even after you don't own them anymore, then you realize, wait, Gala Games has a brilliant business model that's, that's underneath all of this. So when you create an NFT, you can get a tax you can receive a fee anytime that NFT is traded. So already on OpenSea, anytime anyone buys or sells any Gala Games NFT, Gala Games gets two and a half percent of that sale price. So that means that Gala has a tax on the entire ecosystem, the entire NFT ecosystem that they rightfully should be able to get because they've created all of these NFTs. But it's then going to allow someone like me who has bought a $25,000 Majestic Weapon Forge NFT to do the work that I need to do in game and forge a brand new majestic weapon NFT that I'm gonna be able to sell. And Gala Games is fine with me generating a profit off of that weapon because if I sell it for $10,000, guess what? Gala Games gets $250 of that. And then if someone else sells it to someone else, guess what? They get another $250. And it's just a really, really incredible thing. Someone who buys something for a hundred bucks, Gala Games gets 250 off of it. And Gala, in order to continue generating revenue in the future, doesn't need to keep selling NFTs. They just want to grow a healthy and fun ecosystem. So that means that the incentives of Gala Games in the long run isn't just to keep releasing new NFTs from Randis. The incentive is to create a fun game that has a big player base. That's how they're gonna generate the most money in the long run. And if you're an NFT holder, your incentive is also not for Gala Games to keep creating new NFTs, because if they're gonna do that, then definitely your NFTs are gonna be devalued eventually. But your incentives are actually aligned with Gala Games incentives because both NFT owners and Gala Games want Mirandas to get more and more players and, and these different games on the platform to get more and more players because it means more profit for the NFT owner and more profit for the NFT owner means more profit for Gala Games. So not only does the business model work, but the incentives are actually aligned 
for both Gala Games and NFT owners. So when I see that, I'm like, wow, this makes, makes perfect sense. It's not too good to be true at all. It's just good and it's reasonable as well. And there's a business model that I can see working long term where Gala Games incentives are not going to be opposed to my incentives as an NFT owner and a player of this game. So second thing, two thumbs up again. And Gala Games is really starting to, to not look like a scam at all. Now the third and final thing, and I think I only need to touch on this a little bit because it's quite evident, is the community. Does Gala Games have a strong community? Just visit the Gala Games Discord and it will tell you Gala Games has a strong community. In Mirandus, in fact, I have a Discord channel of my own called the Drunken Duck Taverns, and now we've been accepting inns as well, but we're gonna be a franchise offering hospitality in Mirandus, and we have a ton of tavern owners that have joined the guild, but there's just so much interest and support for Gala Games that this guild is now like around 250 people strong. And if that is not a strong community backing a game, just my channel's existence, the fact that I'm here sitting in front of you supporting and defending Gala Games, I mean, that has to tell you something. So there's definitely a strong community around Gala Games and we get a third check. So we have three checks here, three two thumbs up. And in the end, it's very clear. It's just very clear that Gala Games is not a scam. And I just wanna throw on a personal example on top of this from my own experience with Gala Games, which made me more bullish on them as well. They had a friend referral program, the, the rules of which were not communicated very well. And it uh, was a little bit deceptive in that it said, invite a friend, get 100 Gala, give 100 Gala. But in reality, in order to unlock that Gala payout, the person you referred needed to play a ton of Townstar, but it it was an unspecified amount and it was very confusing. And in the end, Gala Games realized that the, the program uh, was not communicated well and then how to actually get the Gala wasn't communicated as well. And they realized they made a mistake. And as a YouTuber, I had already referred like two or 3,000 people to Gala Games and I wasn't receiving any payouts. And I was like, man, are you guys scamming? Like I'm referring all these people to your platform and you're not paying it out. And I was talking uh, with the support team and by the way, the support team is great. They get back to you really, really fast from my experience, both on email and just communicating with support through the Discord. But in the end, th they realized that, that they were in the wrong, that they hadn't communicated how the referral program uh, worked very well and they decided to close the program but they didn't just close the program and say, hey, too bad, uh, you didn't get what we were saying. They actually aired on the customer side and they paid out 100 Gala to every single person that used my referral link to sign up for Gala Games, even though that hadn't been their actual intention. They still paid out 100 Gala to everyone like we had thought the program was supposed to work. So they honored how we had taken the program, how I had taken the program. And they also paid out 100 Gala to me for every single person that had used a referral link. So to our channel, they paid out 200 hundred and forty thousand gala which is a crazy amount of gala and it was something they didn't have to do but they realized there was a misunderstanding they realized that they could have communicated it better and they erred on the side of making the community happy and they paid out the gala to everyone like we thought we were supposed to get paid and then ended the program so they can definitely get better on the on the communication but would a scam have done that would a scam company just trying to steal money would they have taken an action that only a company that cares about the long-term relationship that they have with customers, with consumers, uh, takes. And, and no, the action they took to pay out everyone that gala I'm sure was a massive hit to Gala Games' uh, Gala Treasury. And it's only something that a company would decide to do if they wanted to ensure that they had positive long-term relationships with their core community. And that is why Gala Games has such a strong community. We know that, yeah, obviously Gala Games wants to make money, but they understand 
that the only way to make real money long term is to provide what they're promising to consumers and keep the relationship mutually beneficial. So I am very bullish on Gala Games. I'm very confident they're not a scam. Now, obviously, this doesn't guarantee that Mirandis is going to be a massive, like, 100 million monthly player game, but it does guarantee that Mirandis, or, or as near as possible guarantees, that Mirandis is not a scam. Mirandis is actually getting worked on. It's actually gonna be completed. It's actually gonna be released. The development is actually happening. So I just wanted to share all that in this video, my thought process behind Mirandis, why I'm confident it's not a scam. Obviously, some of you guys are still gonna leave comments saying it is, but it's, it's probably not the people that are watching to this far into the video. Most of you guys, I'm sure, are, are much, much wiser than those that are just clicking on a video, leaving an instant comment and leaving. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a big thumbs up. That will help out the video a ton in the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Uh, when the algorithm sees you engaging with this video, it goes, wow, maybe other people will like this video as well, and then it recommends it to more people. So. It's really, really appreciated. And then if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I post new blockchain gaming content. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. Play to earn crypto gaming. I'm just super excited about it. And you need to be subscribed if you're excited about it as well. And just finally, I want to leave this off by giving a big thank you to our patrons and channel members. You guys are who are supporting us and allowing us to make this content. Um, this team is not only me, uh, my brother Nate edits all of these videos. Our friend Josh uh, does all the sound effects and music design for these videos. And yeah, we couldn't do it without your support. So thank you so much for being a patron supporter. Uh, if you want to learn about being a patron supporter, you can check out the link in the description below. It gives you things like access to our private on-chain gaming Discord channel. So if that kind of thing sounds cool to you, then hopefully we'll see you soon as a patron supporter as well. Also, patrons get a vote on uh, whether or not I make uh, sponsored content or not. So like every sponsor that reaches out, I'm like, hey, is this sponsor look good or no? So if you wanna have producer power over the channel as well, uh, then becoming a patron supporter is great. And then, oh, I, I guess I should talk about this. Most of you guys have probably already clicked off, but my brother, my friend, and I, we're all node owners for the Gala Games node ecosystem, and we love it. Gala Games is building a decentralized node network to run all of these blockchain games off of so it's like decentralized games running on a decentralized server base so if you want to buy a node you can actually be one of the server operators essentially for gala games you just run it from your home computer and you get rewarded with gala daily essentially you mine gala uh, for running the node on your computer so it's great passive income and actually if you buy a node through our referral link then your node still receives 100 percent of its daily income but we actually get 10 percent so an extra 10 percent gets added on to your node's income and yeah your node makes 110 percent of its daily uh possible amount and the extra 10 percent goes to us so we get 10 percent of whatever you mine so that's an incredible way to support the channel as well thank you guys so much for watching this video until next time have fun roaming the metaverse